Hey there, Sun Crazy, Mr. Hanson back with the next video in topic eight. Now we're focused on indirect measurement. Our essential question, how do similar figures help to find an unknown measurement? So, indirect measurement allows us to use the properties of similar figures, congruent angles and side lengths proportional, to find measures that are difficult to find. For example, if I'm standing next to a tree and my shadow is four feet long and the tree's shadow is 10, I can figure out the height of the tree by seeing that it's proportional to my height, all right? So, <clears throat> here we go, first example. It says to find the height of the tree, set up a proportion using the measurements that are given, all right? So, what I need to do is I need to see that this dog here is 0.45 meters tall, his shadow is 0.3 meters long. So essentially, they make a right triangle, all right? So there's my one figure. This tree, we don't know the height, but we know its shadow is 2.2 meters. But again, if you look at it, its height and shadow forms, again, a right triangle. So we have similar figures here, and we can use that to set up a proportion and find for an unknown length. So it's basically like we're finding the missing length of a similar figure, all right? So I need to set up a proportion, all right? I'm going to place the shadow or the shadow length, excuse me, over the shadow length to set it equal to the height over the height, all right? So I'm putting two and two tenths meters for the shadow length over the shadow of the dog, which is zero and three tenths meters. And I set that equal to x, because I don't know what the height of the tree is, over the height of the dog, which I know is 0 0.45 meters. All right? So there's my proportion. Now what I need to do is cross multiply and divide to find my value. So I'm going to cross multiply here, 0 point, or excuse me, 2.2 .2 times 0 0.45. Use your calculators, then divide that value by 0 and 3 tenths. So I have two and two tenths multiplied by 45 hundredths, and then I divide that by my zero and three tenths, that gives me the height of the tree, which is three and three tenths meters. Now that makes sense because the height should be longer than the shadow, and it should be fairly bigger than the height of the dog, as you can see in this picture. All right, next example. Now, if we do not have a picture, we can draw a picture to help us solve the problem. So at the same time, a two meter street sign, all right? So here's my street sign, okay? I know that its height here is two meters. It casts a three meter shadow. So its shadow is three meters in length, all right? So again, there's my right triangle. Now I know a telephone pole. So here's my telephone pole, okay? Cast a 12.3 meter shadow. So then I know that the shadow here is 12.3 meters. I don't know the height because they want to know how tall is my telephone pole. All right? Telephone poles kind of look like this. Old school ones at least. All right? So I need to know the height of X. I have my drawing here. Don't judge my drawing. I'm going to take again shadow over shadow. So 12 and 3 tenths meters over my three meters, set that equal to X, which is I don't know, over the height of the street sign, two meters. Cross, multiply, and divide. Multiply diagonally across. Divide the value. So again, I'm using my calculator, 12 and 3 tenths, multiply by two, divide that by three, I get eight and two tenths, and that's in meters. Right? So we can draw pictures to help us solve indirect measurement as well. Now, <clears throat> next one, these similar figures are within each other, so we gotta make sure that we can see them and visualize it. So I have a right triangle here with these streets, and then I have a large one over the top of it with those corresponding streets. Okay? So it says find the length of Kentucky Lane, which is this street out here. I know that Michigan Avenue is six miles long. I know that part of Ohio Street from here to here is four miles. And I know additionally it's four miles to the very end. So that means the entire length of it is eight miles. That's important to know, right? 
So if I want to separate them, I should have six miles with four miles here and the larger one. I don't know that, but I know that it's eight miles in length here. So again, I set up my proportion. I have eight miles over four, set that equal to x over six. Cross multiply and divide. 8 times 6, 48. Divide that by 4. I should get the value of 12 miles in length. All right? So now, there's one more example. This one here, you're going to do on your own. Make sure you understand that you need to set up a proportion to find the missing value. Cross multiply and divide. Use a calculator. If you get stuck, make sure you ask your teacher. That's it for indirect measurement. See you next time.